80 in the, uh, the New Testament, is there any further evidence in the New Testament pointing to Jesus as God? Yes, there are several other passages. For example, Thomas the Apostle, when Christ had risen from the dead and appeared, he was not there, he doubted, but when Christ then came, Thomas confessed, my Lord and my God. And he was confessing his faith in the divinity of Christ. When Christ asked the apostles, who do people say that I am? They said, some John the Baptist, Eli um, Elias, uh, who come again. Uh, Christ asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter said, you are Christ, the Son of God. And Christ rewarded Peter and said, it isn't human beings that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. That means Christ mm -hmm. praises Peter for confession of faith mm -hmm. in the divinity of Christ. And it's amazing, as Peter walked across the water, got out of that boat and said, Christ, is it really you? And he said, yes, come. And as long as Peter kept his eyes on Christ and confidence on Christ and didn't look to the world, and allow fear to enter, he was able to walk. But as soon as he took his eyes off of the source of his strength yes. and looked out into the world, his heart was filled with fear and he sank. Yes, when his faith fell short. Yes. Uh -huh. That taught him a, a good lesson. Yes. Uh -huh. That it is faith in Christ. The word of the Lord remains forever. There are many other passages in the epistle to the Romans, St. Paul speaking says, Whose are the fathers? That is the fathers in the Old Testament. Of whom is Christ? That is Christ, according to the flesh, as a human being. Who is over all things? God blessed forever. He is indeed man, but he is also God. And he tells the Philippians, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who, being God, did not uh, hesitate to give up his splendor and take on human nature. That means when he, took, he became man, those who saw him didn't realize that that was God. Mm -hmm. During the transfiguration on Mount Tabor, he took three apostles, Peter, James, and John. Christ took them and showed his splendor with, Mo with um, Moses and Elias speaking with him. And the apostles were overcome with fear. Mm -hmm. It was to strengthen their faith in their divinity so that when he would be dying on the cross, they would not lose their faith. They would not think he was defeated. And there are many more passages, but we don't need to look into all of them just now. But many times, the early church called Christ Lord and Savior. And Lord didn't mean just master. It meant it was a title for God in that context at that time. It isn't the Christian community that made Christ God. Christ is God. The Christian community recognized this by faith, believed it, and confessed it, and put it into their chants and into their prayers, so that most prayers were directed to God the Father through Christ the Son in the unity of the Holy Spirit. In the unity of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yes. because the Blessed Trinity, the three persons, are one. But you will notice in the prayer of the church that most of them, not all, but most of them are directed to God the Father. And then we conclude them by saying, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, mm -hmm. forever and ever. Yes. Very clear. Mm -hmm.